Greetings to all peoples and kingdoms of Arda, and welcome to Shilbin in Arda. In the vast array of landscapes that Tolkien created for his world, he did not forget the cold wastelands of the north, complete with his own mysterious peoples and history, the lands of Thorkell. The lore that we will be exploring surrounding these lands of snow is brief, but nonetheless fascinating in its own right. So sit back and let this shield maiden be your guide into the wonderful world of Middle-earth. Thorkell was a region in the northern waste of Middle-earth. Beyond the mountains of Gundabad, beyond the mountains of Angmar, beyond the Grey Mountains, Thorkell was an icy tundra of snow and cold. Its name was Sindarin and meant roughly, Northern Ice. It was also known as Fordrith, translating to Northern Waste. It was said that the bitterness of these wastelands was due to their proximity to Morgoth realm in the Elder Days. The great ice bay of Thorakel was an immense body of water with its mouth in the southwest, between the Blue Mountains and the Cape of Thorakel, and stretching for hundreds of miles to the northeast. It was known to freeze over in the winter, making travel by ship impossible. In 1975, Thor Age, the ice bay of Thorakel became the infamous site of the last king of Arthodyne's death. The only inhabitants of these bitter regions were the Lossoth, also called the Snowmen of Thorkill. They were descendants of the ancient people of Fordrith, for whom the northern lands were called in memory. The name Lossoth is Sindarin and is actually somewhat of a derogatory title. The suffix Hoth translates to host, horde, and is used almost always in a bad sense, for example, an orc horde. It seems that these isolated and primitive people may have been harassed by other people groups, as they retreated to live mainly on the Cape of Thorkill that enclosed the Ice Bay of Thorkill, and remained secluded and unfriendly. There was not much that is known of the Lost Arthur or the Kortul. It seems that they lived much like the Inuit peoples of Alaska. They lived in ice houses, traveled on bone sleds, and used bone skates. They feared the Witch King of Amar, whom they believed could control ice and snow. They also feared men's weapons, and saw little use for joy or money. They were simple people, but not without wisdom. In 1974, the king of Arthodyne, Arthur son of Arathant, fled to the ice bay of Thorakel, where the lost off throat in a desperate attempt to escape the forces of the witch king. He tried to use jewels to buy aid from the lost off, but they were unmoved by man's wealth. They gave Arthur and his men aid out of pity and fear of the weapons. Throughout the winter of 1974, the men of honor stayed among the people of Thorakel until March of 1975. Having heard of Arthur plight from his son, Arwenoth, Cairdan sent a ship to find him in Thorakel. The Lossoth were terrified of the vessel, for never had they seen such a thing as a ship, and their chief cautioned Arthur Dewey against taking it, in what seemed to be a prophecy of the man's doom. Do not mount on the sea monster. If they have them, let the seamen bring us food and other things we need, and you may stay here till the Witch King goes home. For in summer his power wanes, but now his breath is deadly, and his coat arm is long. But Arthur Dewey did not heed the chief of the Lossoth, and he gave the ring of Barahir unto the keeping of the snowmen, telling them that it was an heirloom of great price, and that they could ransom it from his kin at need. Then he boarded the ship, and the words of the Lossoth proved true, for the ship ran into a great storm of the north and was crushed and caught by the ice, and all aboard perished. The Ring of Barahir was ransomed back later from the snowmen by the rangers of the north. The lands of Thor Kael and his people sank into memory and legend, although a footnote in Appendix A of the Lord of the Rings speaks of them in the present tense, suggesting that they may have existed into the Fourth Age. It is not known for certain. Being secluded peoples, they very likely before to remain the way Middle Earth had always known them, the mysterious snowman dwelling among the ice and snow of the north. Thank you for joining with me today through the Water of Otto. Please like this video, subscribe to Shield Maidens, and join us again so we can explore more of Middle-earth together. Namadie.